The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to another movie reaction. Coming at you guys on the channel, man. It is almost spooky season. I'm not sure exactly when this is going up, so it might already officially be spooky season if this is in October. If it's not... We're close to it, man. So I figured we'd start breaking out some horror slash slasher movies, man. I know last um, last October, well, last Halloween, I did the movie Halloween, no pun intended. But the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I've had it in a few movie polls. And it's, it's a movie I've heard about over the years. And it's one I've always wanted to check out and never won any of the polls. And I never checked it out, man. So I'm bulk recording right now, as you guys know. I'm moving in September. By the time you guys are watching this, I'm probably already in the new house. But I figured this would be a movie i just throw on the list and check out right now, man. I know there is a... There's a 2004 or 2003 remake of this, and I'm not sure which one's better. I kind of like to watch the original and then, you know, hear from you guys what you think. And maybe after watching the original, if you guys, you know, want me to, I'll check out the remake of it. Or if I just enjoy this movie enough to where I fall in love with it and I want to really see it. I'll go check out the 2004 remake. I know there's a bunch of other Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies too, like 2, 3, and... It gets kind of confusing, similar to the Halloween movies. What is it with these slasher movies and the way they fucking continue the series, man? I don't know. But regardless, I'm checking out the OG, the original. It's from 1974, so I'm not expecting crazy, you know, blood and gore and effects like nowadays. But quite frankly, I, I'm a fan of, you know, just practical effects from, you know, no, no CGI, no extra random shit. Just good old-fashioned practical effects. I think they make movies better and I enjoy seeing movies that have practical effects in it as opposed to a bunch of CGI and a lot of the newer stuff they do. Don't get me wrong, those look great, but it's just something about the practical effects that it brings a different feeling out when watching a movie, man, in my opinion anyway, guys. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys want to see next video, jump a like on the video for your boy. For reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. See what we got, man. This movie's really short, too. It's only an hour and 23 minutes. Damn near on the dot too, so I think this might be the shortest the film which you are about movie to see I ever watch. Is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history: the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, we just got serious as fuck. The guy reading that description definitely made it even more creepy, and this shit is all true. I don't know why it hadn't clicked in my mind that it was a true story until he said it, because I knew this is a true story going into it, but until I heard him read all that shit off, I hadn't realized it, man. Holy fuck. Now I am actually scared. My, my heart, like, rate actually picked up a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm going into this excited to see it, but... My heart rate just picked up a little bit. And the thing is, too, it's a, it's a true story, so it's like, fuck. I haven't done too many, like, horror, horror, horror movies on the channel. I don't even know if you'd consider this a horror, horror, or a slasher, but... When your boy Primate gets scared, man, he gets scared. I start shaking, I start cussing. More than normal. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Are they like burn? What the fuck was that, man? Oh my chills. Remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A oh. second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. So he just decomposed. I thought he skinned him for a sec. Revealed at least a dozen empty crypts. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case. Can we move from this picture? He did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. God, dude. Boils. Who the f what kind of fucked up person you gotta be to grave rob? Oh, grave rob. You're not even grave robbing. You're literally. Well, I guess technically you are, but like. Who does shit like that? By a local television blackout of a sports event. Jumped from the tenth story window of his apartment. Damn. A Over a sports event? It's hard to hear this, dude. Holy shit, bro. I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. I just watched the Zodiac this morning, too. 
movie on the Zodiac Killer, bro? Fuck. And now it's nighttime? Oh my god. Primate, what are you doing, man? story building under construction in downtown Atlanta collapsed today, killing at least 29 persons. That right there, that's an armadillo, bitch. Bro, one time I was in Florida when I was younger. This is when I was like 11 years old. We were coming home from a dinner show. I drank so much fucking soda that night. Again, I was like 11 years old. I had to piss so bad I couldn't hold it. I told my mom, pull over. I'm pissing on the side of the road. We were on the fucking freeway too. Holy shit. Yo, that must have been a strong gust of wind. Shit. God. You okay? While he was taking a piss, too. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? My granddaddy's buried here. Can we find out if anything happened to him? What's your granddaddy's name? Honey, that big, heavy fella is standing with that flashlight in his hand. That's the sheriff. You go tell him your granddaddy's buried in there. Been in there the whole time, huh? Been no Ain't nobody gonna get my man Franklin out? Uh, uh, they don't tell about. <laughs> I, I see things. I'm sure you see a lot of things, my man. You look fucked up. You laugh at an old man. <laughs> There's them that laughs and knows better. Mm. I laugh at a drunk <laughs> man. If you were talking to me sober, we might be able to have a conversation, brother. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Hey, you see those buildings there? That's where they kill them. They mm. bash them in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's awful. God. It usually wouldn't kill them on the first lick. That's fucked up. Nowadays, don't they use like a gun that, that has like a spike that goes through or some shit like that, like an air gun? Something like that, man. I don't know much about cattle or farming. What the fuck? You can tell this dude's off his rocker, man. What are you doing? <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oi! Can we get him out the car, bro? Oi! I don't want this shit back now, but I don't want you to have it either. Throw that shit out the window, bitch. Have this knife. Why are we not getting this motherfucker out? Stop the car, bitch! Oh my <laughs> god. I wonder how accurate this is to the true story. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Hey, you, you could take me to my house. I, I live right off this road. Yeah, please well, get I, I don't know, him man. out. We're in pretty much of a hurry. Don't you, Jerry? God. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't want to piss this dude off, though, huh? I think you heard his feelings, man. I'm taking notes, by the way, chat. By the way, guys. <laughs> How did it come out? How's my man Franklin look? It's a nice picture. You can pay me now. Two dollars. What? It's a good picture. No, man. Franklin, don't, give him back to It don't work like that. I didn't... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? I guess he was pissed he didn't want to buy his picture. Shit. Oh my god! Get this fucker out the car, bro! That is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. And that was probably the best that could have turned out. A little baby cut. Floor it! Come on! Put that bitch in the high gear, damn! <laughs> Fuck! This motherfucker is crazy, bro! You don't want to go fooling around other folks' property. There's some folks don't like it, and they don't mind showing you. 
Oh, my father owns it. I got some good barbecue here. Why don't you fellas stick around here a while? The transport will be by in a little while. Mm. He's trying to get him not to go there. He must know something's up, man. Okay, I'll go in. Mm. What the hell? We should have stuck back there for gas. <laughs> yeah. What are the odds the one they stop at's out of gas? Franklin maniac can up the van. Yeah, chill out. Um, yeah, I, I just start doing that. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sally. We're going out. It's just his blood place. probably from him Let's hitting go. it. Hey, that, that guy smeared blood all over the van. Yeah. Smeared his blood on that motherfucker, man. This place is just ugh. No chance. I don't give a fuck who owns it. I don't give a fuck if some, I don't give a fuck if I own it. Shit. That ain't my place no more. You know what they say, right? Curiosity killed the cat. I wonder if that means something. It's the Mark of Zorro. He's gonna get you. Sorry, Sorry, come on. Off, okay? <laughs> Shut I up. Wanna show you. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It does kind of look like a mark. Here, man, you must supposed to just a smear. Hey, you don't think that guy would try and follow us, do you? What for? Revenge. <laughs> Where's my knife? Oh, what the fuck? Are those spiders? Oh my bro, fucking hell, I hate spiders! God, get that shit off the screen. See, I have these fascination for the zebras. Hey! My man Franklin's left stranded out here, bro. Can't make it to the second story. I don't know why, bro, but my heart's starting to race a little bit more, like at the start. <laughs> Come on, Franklin. It's gonna be a fun trip. <laughs> <laughs> my man Franklin said I should have stayed home. Come back by here anyway. I can pick up my guitar and give him a couple more dollars and bring him back some gas. They don't want your guitar. They're not going to want to sell us some gas. Let's just go back now. God, dude. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't selling no gas, bruh. The fuck hangs up a broken thermometer? Like, what the fuck is this shit, man? What does that sound too? Is that like no pun intended here or anything? Is that the chainsaw? Oh, it's a generator running, okay. I don't know why I thought it was the chainsaw just sitting at idle, man. Spooky. See now this part of the house looks nice. Dece okay, it looks decent. It doesn't look like like the back part did, but still, this looks spooky as fuck, man. I think horror movies have ruined my idea of having a swing like that. It just it creeps me out when I see it now. In any movie or show. Hello, is home? Oh, a tooth? Bro, drop that shit right now. No! Oh. Is anybody home? Hello? Oh my god, animal pelts and stuff, okay. This is probably that one, the hitchhiker's house, huh? Where he lives. Hello? He talked about how he lived close, right? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? That's why you don't go into other people's house for one. That's why you don't explore places like this for two. What the fuck? Her. What was making that peel squeal squealing noise? Did he have a pig back there he was killing? Or was that him making that fucking noise? Holy shit. That dude literally Her. came out of nowhere, no questions asked. Just bop. Fucked his shit up. Man started seizing. 
She's really just looking for Kirk like this isn't someone else's house. I get this was a different time, but still, fuck. Fucking boom! Look at that shit. That coffee table made out of bones? Look at this shit. Dude, this is insane. Jesus, bro. The quicker camera cuts is making it fucking more intense. My heart rate's picking up more and more. Uh, oh, bro, she's throwing up. Like, I guess she's throwing up, but like, she's getting closer to all that shit on the ground, too. With her mouth, bro. Oh, my God. Knock, too. Oh. The way he started screaming, man. Fuck. God, dude, this fucking mask scary as shit. That is a big boy, too. Dude's like, fuck, two in one? Holy hell. Oh, fuck! He's got a hanger on that hook! Damn! There's a chainsaw. Fuck, dude. Holy shit. Dude, and just sitting there hanging on that hook too. Oh my god, man. Franklin and them. Oh, they're not you, even Franklin's here. Coming to get you. you don't think it means anything? Well, there's a trail down there between them two old sheds. Can I go too? Uh, I think you better stay here. Damn, man. He's dead. Well, Jerry, you had a good run. A good drive. Oh, I, I don't blame you. I'm. Kirk! <laughs> oh, man. These poor souls, man. All they needed was some gas, too. God, dude, here he is, too, at this fucking house. God, Hello? this poor soul. He's about to meet the same fate, dude. I feel like Kirk was the lucky one. He probably got killed home? quick as shit just after that hammer hit. His, he probably shut the fuck down. Like, um, Pam was her name, I think. She had to get hooked, and she was just sitting there hooked, hanging on that shit, bro. You know how bad that probably hurt? And then she had to watch Kirk get killed, too, knowing that's what's coming for her. Here? And then this poor soul here. Oh, God, I wonder what's going to happen to him. He sees that that was Kirk? their shit. Are you guys in there? Oh, they're in there, buddy. You poor Kirk? soul. Is that one of them in there? It is. He locked him in the fridge? Or freezer? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, the way it just happens so quick every time, man. He's making sure nobody else is there too. Jesus, dude, the way it happens so quick, he just comes in there, just bop, bop, instant every time, man. Holy shit, he really stuck her in a free in, in the freezer, bro. So she wasn't even dead. She got hooked, and then she what? Froze to death. She's still alive. She fucking jumped up. Why does he act like he feels bad, bro? Oh, look at his fucking lips, bro. God, bro. I don't know. I love these old slasher movies. I, I need to go back and watch all the Halloweens. Oh, uh, fuck. Wait. I thought I heard something. That's There's me. There's a light. Yeah? Yeah. That, that, that's me. I, I, every time I'm out at night, bro, in a situation, not like this, because I, I wouldn't put myself in a situation like this, but at night, I'm like, fuck, did you hear that? God, dude. That's gotta be so Yay! hard pushing that off road. Yay! Over all them sticks and branches and rocks. Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! He's right behind her! Holy fuck! 
Bro, I gotta turn this shit down. I'm about to fucking I'm I'm about to fucking make myself pass out. I was terrified. Holy shit. She fucking caught in the branches, huh? That man's just cutting through that shit too. See? This is why it's good to be bald. Or close to it. <laughs> She's gaining some distance. Oh my god, is this a different house? This is. Holy fuck, boy is moving, man! Yo, you better jump through their fucking window. Fuck knocking on the door. Oh my heart is racing. Shut that door. Lock that door. You better hope this isn't fucking... This isn't another fucking weirdo's house. Wait, this is the same one! I fucking played myself! I swear this was a different one. It's because I seen the back of the house. Oh my god. I fucking played myself, bro. Bro, your best bet now. Oh my god. Your best bet now is to hide. Bro! Yeah! Oh, your leg! Oh my god, I just felt that on my leg. God, she finally found another place. But it's too late. Oh, it's too late. It's the gas station. He told you to stay. He told you I was to stay. The bitch! Don't open the door, you psycho! Bro, he's gonna die if he goes out there. Dude, I thought he was gonna be at the fucking door. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. You don't have a shotgun here or something? No weapons? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bro, why do I feel like he's in on it? What the fuck was that shit? What kind of meat was that? Was He is in on it. Damn. You just cooperate, young lady, and we'll have no trouble. No trouble, bitch. You're gonna kill her. Not out of What do you want? It's gonna hurt you. <laughs> no! Jesus. Was that fucking human meat? Was that what that shit was? Uh. Fucking hell. That's why you wanted him to stay there. It was gonna be easy pickings for old boy, huh? Shit. It's the hitchhiker. Of course they're related, huh? So his brother must be the Texas guy, the chainsaw guy, huh? And this is his dad. Jesus, bro. He's like, I remember you. God, dude, she's gonna see him again. Is he's the one making the fucking pig noises? He is, bro. What the fuck? Giving him fucking blood like a vampire type shit. Holy fuck. Oh, I thought that was like the point of view of someone else. I was like, who else is fucking out here? God. Waking up to that sight, man. Oh. She thought it was a fucking nightmare. Shit's real life. Jesus, bro. I don't know who the most fucked up person you didn't see her out of them all. You would think Leatherface, right? But I almost feel like it's his brother, his little brother. Dude, I'm so confused as to what this fucking grandpa situation is. Like, that motherfucker literally looks like a decomposing vampire. This shit ain't quick, bro. Come on. 
give me the hammer. Motherfucker, I thought the dad said he didn't take enjoyment in this. Oh shit. It's daytime now. God, dude. This motherfucker moves quick. Like the dad, Leatherface, both of them don't move so quick, but this dude, he fucking runs like a psychopath. God, dude. He's cutting her shit. Fuck. Is that a car? It is a truck. My man said, fuck that, I'm getting in the truck. Hey, he pulled her in though, props. Damn. What are you doing getting out? Drive! What the fuck? What just, what the fuck just actually happened? Why are we not driving? Oh, there's another car. Fuck that bitch. Look, she said fuck that. Oh, they hitting the Yui. They about to run that bitch over. My God, dude. What about the truck driver? What the fuck happened to the truck driver? God, dude, she's gone insane. Who can blame her? What the fuck happened to the truck driver? God, dude, he fucked his own leg up too. He's still sitting there alive doing that shit. Like genuinely, what the fuck happened to the truck driver? Holy shit. They had a really small cast for this movie, huh? They had like, what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, the dad, the brother, like 10 people in total for the whole cast of this movie. Well, I guess plus the people at the graveyard at the very start, right? Damn, dude. Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974, bro. Hold the fuck on. Says the film was marketed as being based on true events to attract a wider audience and to, uh, to act as a subtle commentary on the era's uh, political climate. Although the character of Leatherface in minor story details were inspired by the crimes of murder murderer Ed Jean, its plot is largely fictional. Okay. The leading character in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is loosely based on the real-life man. Okay. Ed was one of two sons born to George, okay. On July 1984, Ed, a serial killer infamous for skinning humans' corpses, dies of complications from cancer in a Wisconsin prison at age 77. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was banned in several countries and numerous theaters stopped showing the film in response to complaints about its violence. It led to a franchise that continued the story of Leatherface and his family through sequels, prequels, a remake, comic books, and video games. So that, that remake is the one from 2004, right? Can you visit? Who the fuck Google shit like this? Can you visit the real Texas Chainsaw Massacre house? You can dine in the original home? Feature Okay, featured in the film. So it's not the actual one. The home in the original classic horror film is Kingsland, and it's open for the public to explore firsthand. Oh my god, holy shit, okay. So it's, so it's like, the plot itself is largely fictional, it said. It's just the main character, Leatherface, is based off the guy Ed Jin, Jean? Ed Jean, I guess, who was a serial killer and skinned people alive. But this, as far as the story itself goes, it's it's, you know largely fictional from what i'm understanding i gotta look more into it but i'll do that off camera man i don't know man i want like i said during uh, this reaction or at the start i fucking watched uh the zodiac from 2007 with robert downey jr and mark ruffalo and it's um this morning literally this morning and i fucking i was intrigued as shit by that man like in high school i said this in that reaction too in high school a lot of people were into like serial killer documentaries and shit and i never understood it man but like watching the zodiac i was into it like a motherfucker like that shit like really brought up some fucking emotions in me and i enjoyed it you know and seeing like learning about it and everything like that and then with this too like i know this is different than that you know this was definitely a lot more violent and stuff but just learning about like serial killers kind of i don't know man maybe like i said in in, in that reaction i said it maybe we'll look into into some serial killer documentaries or more movies uh based on serial killers and stuff like that i don't know i find it kind of interesting you know
just learning about it and learning what happened and who they were and why they did what they did and how they were caught or who brought them to justice and this and that i find that stuff interesting like i i didn't get it back then but after watching the zodiac and after watching you know this is different than that but after watching the zodiac i feel that way and then you know just learning about the shit is kind of interesting to me like it's crazy what humans are capable of man you know like humans are fucking humans are capable of some fucked up shit and i know like every situation is different and some people you know have stuff that's mentally wrong with them like in my opinion anybody that does shit like that has something that's mentally wrong with them but i don't know dude i find it interesting as far as the movie itself goes obviously this is from 1974 and when i was looking up a comparison to the 2004 one a lot of stuff did say this 1974 one in comparison to that just don't get me wrong, this had a lot of fucked up shit in it, and it was, there was some moments that it fucking got me, bro, my heart jumped out of the chest, and I like, again, with these older, like, slasher films, just like when we watched Halloween, I like the tension building, like, sometimes, it's, it's, it's a little comical at times, you know, but I, I, I can appreciate it, and I enjoy it, you know, sometimes it is comical, but, I appreciate it and I enjoy it, man. I, I really do. I like that shit a lot. And it makes me want to watch a lot, a lot more older slasher films, you know? I thought it was really good. But uh, um, a lot of the comparisons was that the newer one is just a lot more, like, bloody and gory compared to this one. Because this one, they're, like, a lot of the gore and bloodiness and shit like that is a lot of implied stuff you know what i mean like a lot of the chainsaw cutting and stuff you didn't see the blood or see it actually happening and stuff whereas i from what i've read in the 2004 one they actually kind of show that shit so it's a lot more gory and bloody but like i said i wanted to watch this one just to see the very very original one and to see what it was like and just because i like a lot of practical effects 2004 isn't necessarily the newest so i'm sure there's still going to be some practical effects and stuff in there but just not as much as this one you know so maybe we will check that one out because i really enjoyed this man you know i liked it and i'm not trying you know i don't want you guys to think i'm fucked up in the head or something you know like when i say i enjoyed it i'm saying i was like entertained by it you know and i, I found it kind of interesting you know what i mean again i love horror films i've I haven't watched a ton, but the ones I've watched, I've always been a fan of growing up. You know, I was really scared of them when I was younger, but after I was kind of able to get past that and just realize that it's a movie, even if it's based on true stories, I was able to enjoy them a lot more. And, you know, I, I, I really do enjoy horror movies. I'm actually going to be watching uh, the new Conjuring movie tomorrow, doing a reaction to that as well. I don't know if that's going to be up by the time this goes up or not. But regardless, man, like I said, I enjoyed it. It's fucked up, you know, that that it's it, 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 even that again like the main plot and stuff is mostly fictional but the fact that even some of it is based on a real story is just super fucked up again it just shows you how fucked up some humans can be man and i don't know dude i could just never ever 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 imagine imagining something like this happening even though it did i i'd still like my brain just can't comprehend it dude i don't know man like i said i personally enjoyed the film it's not necessarily like the, the, the best in any aspect or anything like that, but I, I enjoyed it for being a slasher movie, which is what it is. You know, I feel like some people just don't enjoy them and they find them to be kind of cheesy, but I liked it, man. And we're definitely going to be checking out more on the channel here. So if you guys have any recommendations of your favorite slasher slash horror films or just older horror movies, the only old horror movie I will never, ever watch in my fucking life is The Exorcist. I am terrified of that shit. I feel like if I watch that, I'm like, I'm going to get fucking haunted. I'm going to have a demon attached to me or some shit. I damn near feel like that's a fucking documentary more so than anything, bro. I That is the one horror movie I don't think I will ever watch in my fucking life. But any other horror movie, any other slasher movie, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any like, you know, movies on serial killers or serial killer documentaries, let me know. Because again, I don't know. I, I'm enjoying them, man. I think they're dope in their own way and i find it interesting learning about that kind of stuff too just i don't know man let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one
what is going on everybody i hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie silas kane and shout out to the homie that's so gordo i appreciate you guys for supporting me on my highest tier over on patreon if you guys want to join the patreon family the link is in the description down below as well as on screen right now you get access to full length reactions early access and a bunch of other cool stuff come over join the family i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one